Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Alex and this is Tech Flow. I'm Alex, your resident audiophile. Audiophile. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Alex and this is TechFlow. I'd like to think that you guys think that I know what I'm talking about when it comes to audio. So guys, in front of me here we have some quad driver in-ear headphones. Now I've seen this be done with on-head headphones, actual headphones that go across the top of your head. They have a big scope either side of your head to fit as many drivers as they want. You get things like 5.1 headphones, quad driver headphones for music, but these are quad driver in-ear headphones. They've actually got four drivers, yeah? So, uh, Let's get these things out of the box and see if they are, number one, a good fashion statement and number two, actually sound good. Because those are the two things that I really like to judge headphones on. They're kind of a fashion statement as well, aren't they? They are a piece to your outfit that you are wearing, wherever you're wearing them, on the train, in the street, or even in the gym. So we'll go over both of those two things and I will give you my personal take to hopefully shape your buying decision. So there's not really that much on the packaging, but it actually looks like a super nice clean box, which is uh, really what I'm hoping the headphones are going to take from the actual box design. So as you can see, they're made by a company called One More. Never actually heard of these guys before, so I'll drop a link to these in the description, but that on that side of the box looks absolutely wicked. You've got the One More logo there. That is actually that is actually metal, that, and then there's like a wooden finish under there. This is very, this is very, 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 very nice right now. So we've got some high-res audio branding on the front, so you can plug this straight into a Sony phone and you can take, and you can take use of that high-res audio. I know Sony phones like to output that and make it a big deal, so that's interesting to see. On the back it says, diamond-like carbon dynamic driver. Streamlined, anodized, finished, sound chamber with perfect ergonomics provide exceptional comfort and noise isolation. There's a sentence for you. Anyway, let's see if we can, uh, oh wow, oh wow, it's got a magnet. So I'm assuming that this doesn't open, you do that and then maybe, hang on, does that? Oh, no way. This, this is legit. Like this is the nicest packaging. This is the nicest packaging on a set of headphones. I think I've ever had the, the pleasure of unboxing. I'm gonna turn this around for you guys right now. Three, two, one. You guys are seeing this before I am. Um, oh wow. Whoa! No! This is legit stuff. Look at all the headphone Jimbo Django on there. This is, this is next level. This genuinely from an unboxing experience and I'm judging a book by its cover right now because the headphones could be bad, they could be bad, but I'm, I'm, I'm assuming they're not gonna be. They're coming in a box like this. This is, uh, <laughs> this is possibly gonna be the set of uh, in-ear headphones that nobody, nobody should not have. So there we go. Let's take off the front packaging right now. So it's nice up here guys to see that they've included a quarter inch adapter for these headphones as well as an airline adapter too. Not that anybody really uses these anymore, but the fact that they do include that and it is... Wow. <laughs> like, look at the finish on that thing. That looks amazing. I'm not even sure what this is. Oh, it's just a, it's just a one more cable clip. Just to, you know, clip your cables. And then a very nice carry pouch here which is actually housing the cables for the headphones, nice leather pouch with a magnet. Yep, that's definitely a magnet. Real leather too. So far, so good. We've now got a, uh, well, a load of tips for the headphones with exactly the right millimeter for each tip. So you can really narrow this down. Um, wow. No, no, there. We've just got some documentation, a couple of a couple of stickers, but we'll but we'll leave that out and we'll get the headphones out right now. The main attraction and uh, instantly the build quality of them. Oh yes, oh they are just top notch. They are just top notch headphones, earphones, earphones. My ear size is quite generic, so I don't think I'm going to actually have to use the tips. It's very nice of them to uh, to have included them. I may find myself having to use them, but I will try them 
in my ears first with the with the included tips. The cable feels um kind of difficult to describe. It's not a uh, it feels a bit waxy. It's like a really nice waxy cable. Not sure if you can grab some focus on that right there, but um, super, super nice. And then we've got some inline controls right there. They feel really light, but also of very good build quality. Really strong build quality again, much like the actual drivers. Let's see if these actually fit in my ear right now. Oh yeah, perfect. Oh my god, the noise isolation is actually really good. You guys are probably going to hear me speak a little bit louder while I'm uh, while I've got these in my ears because the noise isolation is um, I genuinely can't hear a thing outside right now. I can I can just hear my own voice sort of in my own head. Um, okay, because I am an iPhone user, I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, plug this bad boy in there like that, and then grab my phone and plug that in the bottom right now. So whenever we do a headphone review, guys, we always on TechFlow do the face test. Now the face test is, uh, I'll put on the set of headphones and play a track that I like to listen to. You guys can pay attention to my face from two different angles and judging by my facial expression, you should hopefully understand my first thoughts on the headphones. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Tidal right now uh, on my iPhone X and play some tracks that I listen to and like. First track in three, two, one, playing. Okay. They're amazing. They are amazing. There's so much dynamic range. So much dynamic range. If you were to ask me one thing, what they're good at. Highs, mids and lows, it's all there, none of it's lost. So these headphones have the exact right amount of everything, is what I'm getting from them so far. But I'm a bass head, love bass. So uh, I like a headphones that, that kick a little bit more than these do. Unfortunately, they don't, which is a little bit annoying for me. But what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and add a little bit of equalization in the phone and see what they can, see what these things can cope with. I'm gonna switch over to Spotify, play a different song, and then go into the equalization and just bump up the bass and see how far I can actually push these things to see if they distort. Okay, watch the face, watch the face. Bass dropping in three, two, one. Yeah, they can do it. They can do it. They can do it. They can definitely do it. Okay, they're very, very, very good headphones. They're very, very, very good headphones. So these headphones come in at £141. So now I need to tell you guys, I've got the important job of telling you guys whether these are worth their price tag and 100% yes without a shadow of a doubt. This has been the easiest video I've ever had to make on a set of headphones. Usually, I compare headphones to my Bose QC35s because they are my flagship all-time favorite set of headphones. Unfortunately, they're not in here and I feel like that's not a very fair comparison. But these, you know what? For 141 pounds, if you're serious about your music. Okay, I've just had another bit, little bit of listen and I feel like they're a little bit more top heavy than bass heavy. They favor the highs a little bit more than the lows, which again, for my personal preference, is not necessarily what I want, but I've tweaked with the EQ, pushed the bass up, and they can definitely cope with it. And that's something probably to do with that quad driver in these headphones. Usually I'd have more things to say about a set of headphones, but the fact is that there's nothing really negative to say about these. For 141 pounds, you're getting a, a set of headphones with this level of attention to detail, 141 pounds right here. And you guys can evidently see how awesome this is because the box is big, right? This is nice, it's a nice thing to put on the video, right? But these, only our really tight in shot is gonna get a shot of how cool these are, but they really do reflect how good the box is, even a little bit more so. The fact that they look like, look a bit like a turbine, a little bit like a bullet. I love the red and the gray accenting, really really nice. It's a fashion statement. Headphones are a fashion statement, whether you like it or not. So this is up to your personal opinion. The only thing you can't shape your opinion on is the sound quality, but take my word for it. Definitely high, heavy, favor vocals, but can definitely be pushed 
if you just push your bass EQ up slightly. So there you go, I think that is the best set of headphones for £141. Look at that. That is just blowing me away a little bit. The thing is now with the tech market, and I'm finding this as times go on, it's all getting so much more competitive. You're getting so much more for so much less. And I think that is really shown through these headphones. Very, very cool. Guys, my name's been Alex. This has been TechFlow. You can catch a link to these in the description. Um, I have nothing else to say. These are awesome. I 100% recommend these. Very, very good.